Bill Hurd from Hackaday. Let's do some science. I'm in the urge to see some mitosis. What made me think of science today is I, it seems like we're going backwards as far as science in our schools and science I see on TV. We're actually outlawing gathering information and how can we make choices without information, right? So I started asking my son about his science curriculum at school. And you know, whereas growing up, we had a kit where we could model the, the bonds of molecules and, and tr show the relationship between a triple bond, the stress that put under it. He had marshmallows and sticks that they used in school to simulate that. So I asked him about a microscope and if he had seen mitosis under a microscope and his answer was no. So we're going to look at my, uh, mitosis under a microscope today. Now I have to tell you, long before I went to, got to high school, I had a microscope. I got this when I was eight years old. This was my pride and joy. Uh, this cost the equivalent of one of these did back then, I'm sure. And I ran all over the countryside, gathering up little vials of water to look under it. And my finger hurt from poking it to, so I could see blood under the microscope. And this thing was just awful, right? You used double A batteries for this little tiny light bulb and it had a mirror and everything's loose, but this had a magnification of 900. One focus, so you would focus it high and it would drift down through it. And I didn't care. I loved this thing. So I had gotten my son, same a microscope, like cost the same as that did back then. And this is what we're going to use to look at mitosis. What is mitosis? Mitosis is the splitting of cells, right? It's probably one of the most famous, one of the most popular shots you have of seeing the chromosomes kind of come together and then coalesce and then split apart. It, I have less chromosomes, obviously. So the place where we're going to find mitosis happening is I had these onions sitting in water in these very tip of the roots. Not the very, very tip, but the tip of the roots is growing so fast that we should be able to see the cells splitting, okay? So that's what we're going to do today. So what I've done is I've taken an onion, and these have been sitting all over my house. Uh, it takes me a couple weeks to make one of these videos, so I had to go through a couple onions where they sit and rot in the kitchen. But what we're after are these real tiny new onion roots that you see there. So I suspended this in water. There were no, none of these onions uh, were fresh roots when I started, now we have them. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting them and placing them in a small Petri dish. And then I'm going to wash them with hydrochloric acid. Um, if you think that sounds like how you digest something in your stomach, you would be correct. I am going to digest away the part of the cell walls and stuff that I want to get out of my way to see the chromosomes. So I've got some one molar hydrochloric acid warming up in a small water bath. Maybe someday we'll talk about molarity and whatnot. It's a cool way to talk about elements compared to their natural weight compared to other elements. So you can do ratios really easy. So one molar warming up and I'm going to put these tips in there for about five to 10 minutes to pre-digest them. All right, I've had these roots right here, these root tips that I cut off soaking in hydrochloric acid for 10 minutes. And then I've rinsed them off in a different container. This is rinse water off to the side. And if you look at these, you see they've even lost, they look a little mushier. They, they've been digested a little bit. So now we're going to hit them with some dye. There are different microscope, there are different dyes that they use in microscopy, which I only learned to say in the last year. I thought it was called microscopy. Um, and I don't have the one that you normally would do with this. This is acetylcorcine, would be normally a very vibrant purple, supposedly. Um, but what I do have is toluidine blue. So I thought I had the other stuff, the orcine. I didn't, but I have blue in stock, so I'm going to use it. It should give me something where I can uh, get some contrast in it. So microscope dyes, they sell these in, in hobby houses and uh, there's about a half dozen that I would tend to use if I were playing around with this actively. And uh, each one does a slightly different purpose. If you've heard of gram positive and gram negative actually for bacteria, uh, one of them is about how it reacts to one of the dyes, whether it uh, reacts positively or negatively is a good way to demonstrate gram negative, gram positive. Let me see if I can get the glare off of this for you. But you'll see inside this water now, you'll see the, the blue floaty things. So 
Those are our root tips, and they're very blue. I might have screwed up, but I have others, and if I screw even those up... So if you can see this little piece of uh, transparent glass I am holding, that's a slip cover for a slide. I'm sure you know what slides are. Well, I'm going to take this and I'm going to crush the root tip with it in a way is to try and spread it out on the slide. Now, I remember breaking a lot of slip covers and possibly bleeding doing this, uh, but this is how I remember doing it. So we're gonna try and crush and smear that enough to see through in, and see individual cells. All right, underneath here is a smashed root, and then I've added water to, uh, in capillary action, drew the water back in. So there's actually a smashed root under there. In fact, it's not a big bright blue glob means maybe we can see something. I'm sitting at my editing station. Before I string together these images we just got through capturing, let me tell you a little bit first about what you're going to see. Um, and this isn't a video about the science of mitosis. It's a video about just science and seeing this stuff yourself, right? So I recommend that you, you heck, pull up Wikipedia on it, if nothing else. But what we're looking for, you know, and learn more. But what we're looking for here is, it, normally in a nucleus, you don't see chromosomes, right? Not normally. Uh, but then as the, the need to divide comes upon it, it'll coalesce. And you'll see something called the prophase. And pro means before. Prophylactic means before protection. Anaphylactic means afterwards. It means after protection. That's after you get a bee sting or something. So for the prophase, the before phase, you'll start to see actual chromosome type shapes in there. And then they'll start to pull apart and it gets to something called metaphase. Well, actually, they'll line up first, that's metaphase, and then they'll pull apart and now there's two cells. And this is the anaphase and then on to some other uh, uh, two phases. I can't see the name from here. So that's what we're looking for, is we're looking for this weird co coalescence in the beginning. And then, well, we'll do it like this. And then we'll see them line up, and then we'll see them pull apart. The first slide, and I see stuff. This is so cool to see this with your own eyes. You, you can see it. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. You can see, uh, look at this guy. He's getting ready. Look at that. You can see the uh, tubular structures in here. It's definitely something going along on here. This might be a metaphase going. Let's keep looking at our slide, shall we? Oh, look at this right here. I see two nucleuses in there. And again, we see things where the chromosomes are coalescing. Oh, this is, this is cool. Oh, here's one. Here's one pulling apart right there. Let's hopefully we'll get a better picture here in a second. And here it is, here, here's one actually pulling apart. It's becoming two cells. This, this is why we're alive, right? That, that, that our molecules have the ability to do this. And uh, there's an, an anaphase going, right? Afterwards, there's an early, uh, early where it's just entering the mitosis uh, stages of replication right up here. Look at that though, that's still cool to see it getting ready. And finally, here, here we have active replication going here, here. This one's getting ready. This one's getting ready here. This is so cool. So as you saw, it was a lot touchier trying to get the actual camera to see what I could see through the eyepieces. A lot of it's intuitive. You're adjusting the focus on the fly because your subject matter really is three-dimensional. And at these uh, magnifications, you have to focus through something. Even into the cell, you could see it focusing deeper and, and, and less deep into the cell. But there were some great shots of, of the anaphase, prophase, metaphase of the various uh, portions of the, uh, of, of the mitosis. And I'll talk about those a little bit more in the printed part. So Bill Heard from Hackaday. They weren't the greatest shots, but you know what? It helped kill an afternoon and I got to do some science. Catch me on the next one.